Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Today I bring you a video on the huge update. New hunter guide, minimum hunter rank requirements, and more. Preparing for Kushala Deora. Monster Hunter now released a huge update before Season 2 drops. These updates are in preparation for Elder Dragon interceptions. These new updates are meant to help newer players and measure the appropriate strength of hunting Kushala Deora. Alright, we're gonna jump right into it. There's this awesome new feature called the Hunter Guide. The game now has an in-game guide with everything beginners and newer players need to know about the game. By tapping on any of the articles, you will get sent to a webpage with more detailed information. This was a much needed update as there is a lot to unpack as a newer slash beginner. So this really helps break it down for them, especially when newer features release. I remember when I was a newer player, I was like, oh wait, I don't know about all this stuff. Now with this new hunter guide, it's actually, it looks really good and everything's condensed. I really like how they made it so that how they did it, it's just like make it a really jumbled, like a textbook where all the texts are in there regarding each weapon, etc. or whatever is in the hunter guide. They actually made it to where if you tap on it, you can get hyperlinked to a more detailed web page. It's very visually pleasing, very organized, and I can't wait to see newer players use this feature because I remember when I was a newer player and man, I was like, I didn't know about all this stuff. I had to look at Reddit and everything else. So hopefully this helps these newer players, especially with a lot of stuff like items, etc. Things you wouldn't think about. And they start branching out to other resources in the future to know, to know and learn more about Monster Hunter now. In addition, after you clear a status ailment, for example poison, you won't be affected by the same ailment for a certain period of time. This is great because Puke Puke is super annoying and I still get hit by that poison attack once in a while when I get lazy. The time Hunter is stunned by major wind pressure has been reduced. As someone that fought Kushala ahead of time, you're gonna really really want this update and it's great that they did that. Friend requests can be sent to the hunters you hunted with after defeating a large monster together. Getting a scene feel this update live was pretty dang cool. So yeah, you're more on that later. And here's some notes regarding friend requests and group hunts. This also applies to party hunts. Friends requests cannot be sent after you finish a huntathon. So if you completely finish a huntathon, you cannot send a friend request right after. So keep that in mind. You're gonna get that prompt after you finish the successful group hunt. You won't get to do one right after you finish a huntathon. Request cannot be sent if you fail the hunt. So make sure you actually complete the hunt and that your friends or whoever you're with is strong enough to do so. Because if you want to send a friend request to someone, you better make sure you're using your most overpowered gear so that you're like, oh my gosh, I finally, it's nice to meet you. I've been hunting with you forever. It's been so lonely up in here. That totally sounds like my experience, by the way, as a solo player. The minimum hunter rank requirements for eight stars and above are now live. If you don't remember, 8-star monsters are Hunter rank 50+, 9-star monsters are Hunter rank 100+, and 10-star monsters are Hunter rank 150+. Not going to go super deep into it. This was covered before in a previous video of mine, and now that update is now live. But what if you don't meet the minimum Hunter rank requirement? Well, if you don't, you will not receive a join hunt notification for that large monster. So if you look at your bottom left whenever you see a join hunt notification, you usually see that down there on the bottom left. Well, if there's a hunt for one that's out of your league, well, you won't be able to see one for it. You also may not be able to join all hunts in hunt-a-thons. For example, let's assume a hunter is hunter rank 49. If a hat's first monster is a seven star, you can hunt that monster. But if the next one is an eight star, you will not be able to join that hunt. A warning will be displayed if you do not meet the hunt minimum hunter rank requirements for all hunt monsters in a hat. So it's going to warn you ahead of time. So for you new players, don't be surprised if you see a big warning sign pop before you start a hat. You shall not pass! Ah, that franchise and scene is super legendary. Also, there are no hunter rank requirements for hunts using QR codes like the paintball list or party hunts. So, for those of you that have friends, great for you. If you want to carry your friend, your new friends, great job. If you're a solo player like me, well, life isn't that good for us solo players, am I right? But wait, there's more features. The instant join hunt invitation for hats have been temporarily turned off. There's a technical issue with the feature and will future updates will fix this. I'm not going to read all that trish kebab because, in other words, 
they're gonna fix it later. So they're just having a problem with the hunt joining and huntathons, the feature like actually working, so they're gonna fix it later. The loading screen now has a season two dancing in the Tempest art visual, and it looks pretty dang sick. And look at that. It's just the it's the one they promoted from there, but like that looks really cool. So I hope y'all love that. And something that might be a little bit of a sneak peek for the future for y'all. They renamed Huntathon tickets to prepare for the major update. The Huntathon ticket is now the Ultra Hunting ticket. That's actually pretty cool. You know, just like plus Ultra. If you know what I'm talking about, you could be friends. But yeah, that's a huge hint as someone that played the update ahead of time live at Summer Game Fest play days. You're gonna see. There might be something, you know, a little hint regarding that. And last but not least, we have some fixed issues. They partially fixed status elements triggering faster than expected. I always wondered, why am I getting poisoned so fast? But I'm glad they fixed it. Fix only applies when a new status ailment occurs during the existing one and if resistances don't affect the new ailment. So if the new, if you have resistances and you get another ailment on stock, the other one, they fixed it to where it's a new one that occurs and it's really annoying. And new status elements visually looked like it was extended and looked shorter. They plan on fixing this in the future. A sock flocked has been fixed when a hat preparation screen hit zero. I actually had this happen to me before and it was annoying until I restarted the game. And joining Huntathons outside their circle causes a soft lock. So I actually had this happen before too. I joined one while I was driving by one and I was like, oh, well, that sucks. So I had to restart my app and it was super annoying. And status ailments shown on rocks and trees thrown by Bambro. Before this update hit, I was actually hunting a Bambro. I think at Summer Game Fest play days, so I was like, what the heck? Why is there like, I'm not using, what you call this, poison or anything like that. Why is it showing on the boulder? It's like, hmm, glad to know that was just a feature that needed to be fixed. Otherwise, I thought I was like hallucinating or something like that. In closing, hopefully y'all are excited for season two coming very soon. I have a bunch of super exclusive content for my season two demo at Summer Game Fest play days and more. So look out for that content. It's gonna drop out of nowhere, literally, because I'm still working on it, etc. But I have a bunch of super cool content. I'm the only, for as far as I know, the only US content creator that went to that event and was invited. So yeah, it's super cool. I can't wait to show you all the cool content, etc. Not just from Monster Hunter now, but also some stuff from Monster Hunter Wild. So if you're into Monster Hunter Wilds, look out for that as well. With that being said, please do me a huge favor. Like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. I hope y'all are excited for the new major update. Season 2. Getting a play ahead time was such a huge experience. And reaction video on that is coming very, very soon. So again, please like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. And I will see y'all on the next video.